JCPSA School presents Lessons in Arts and Humanities. Today's lesson is Medieval Dance. With the fall of the Roman Empire in 427 AD, Europe was overrun with warring tribes and strong feelings against the excesses of the Roman way of life. The Christian Church offered people a sense of unity and belonging. A sharp emphasis was given to life after death, and the human body was looked upon as a burden. People were encouraged to turn away from earlier pagan ways and the instincts of mortal flesh. Here we have an etching from Dance Macabre series by Hans Holbein the Younger. People of the Middle Ages or Dark Ages became more preoccupied with death due to famine, war, plagues, and the fear and ignorance surrounding disease. The dead were often regarded as dangerous and hostile to the living. Many superstitions and rituals involving dance were believed to prevent the dead from returning. It was believed that music and dancing in the churchyards at wakes would force the dead to accept their graves, thus preventing their return. However, it was also believed through folklore that the dead themselves liked to dance in cemeteries and entice the living to join them in a dance macabre. In The Dance of the Dead, the figure of death was an eerie bridegroom whose purpose was to draw every person in every social class to become his bride. The common folk used this dance as a demonstration of rebellion against church officials such as popes, cardinals, and bishops, and upper class authorities such as princes and kings, realizing and expressing that Death spares no man, regardless of wealth and status. The Roman Catholic Church took a stand against this sort of dance, which they considered to be inspired by the devil, and banned it. In reaction to this ruling, people danced all the more wildly, uncontrollably, and rolling on the ground as if having a seizure. The Tarantella became one of these seizure-like dances, and was first thought to be brought on by the bite of a tarantula spider. The superstition behind the dance lessened, but the movements remained and are still performed both as a folk dance and as a theatrical dance. The tarantella is characterized by quick and physically demanding movements. A craze which spread over Europe from the 11th to the 14th centuries was St. Vitus's dance, sometimes called St. John's dance named after the patron saint who was supposed to protect the afflicted. Here, men, women, and children danced in wild delirium. They performed frenzied leaps and turns, writhing as if suffering from epileptic seizures, screaming uncontrollably, and foaming at the mouth. This was similar to the Tarantella, a form of seizure-like dance that was thought at first to be the result of a tarantula's poison. Eventually, as the superstitious belief of this remedy diminished, it was continued as a traditional folk dance, appearing in many Italian provinces, the Tarantella. This is from the History of Dance in Art and Education by Krauss, Helsendanger, and Dixon. Here we have three images. One is the engraving of a medieval folk dance, and then the last two are paintings, Ren, uh, Renhiki Bernadelli, the Tarantelle from approximately 1886 and Leon Peralt, La Tarantella from 1879.